Man, this company here, Timu, these guys are ridiculous. They're ruthless, they're relentless, they are bullies. I'm sure you've seen their commercials, their ads all over YouTube, all over the place, all over your face. They're ridiculous. They'll be like a chick squashing a drone. Be like, why is nobody buying this? Everybody thinks it's fake because the price is so cheap. And then like a dude will grab her leg and plead with her that this stuff is great. It's, it's awesome quality. People just don't get it. Buy now. And they're just crazy, man. Stupid ads. But these guys, man, they bullied the hell out of me. They've been emailing me for months, either Timu Direct or like marketing agents for them since late last year. And I finally gave in, but under some conditions, though. If you guys know me, if you've been following my channel, you know what's up. Quick voiceover edit here. So the conditions were, hey, you just send me product. I'll post a video on it. That's it. They don't get to review it. They don't pay me, nothing like that. And that's still where we are. But they did, after I filmed this part of the video, they emailed me saying, hey, uh, send us an unlisted video for us to approve it. And if you don't, we're, you're gonna forfeit the money that we're gonna pay you. So that's weird. First off, there's no money exchanged. I didn't agree to any of that. And second, no, they are not watching this video prior to it going live. So nobody approved this video. I approved it myself. Let's get into it. And that is where we're at. Hopefully we don't have to get the hatchet out and destroy some stuff, but I don't even remember exactly everything that I ordered, but I got like $300 worth of stuff. And I can't speak to their service because uh, I ordered this stuff a week ago and it just arrived. Like, that was quick, honestly. And the courier, the delivery people, I don't know who the hell they were. They were just some random, like, contracted delivery person that just threw this stuff at my door, like, at the wall today. It was crazy, man. But let's just get into this, see what we got. We're going to open everything and then uh, we'll go into the testing phase because... I think I got some interesting stuff. I may have got a, a bunch of boo-boo-ness, but let's just open this crap up and see what to do. If they even, you know, sent me everything uh, that I ordered. So we got like, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. A, uh, a, a fake Switch Pro controller. I think I got a couple of these, right? Different uh, designs from the legit ones. We're going we're gonna to check those out. So we'll have a, after this segment of getting everything out, We'll test stuff out, see the quality of it. Oh yeah, the Splatoon controller. And I got each of these, like they look like the same packaging, but I got them from different listings. I wanted to check that out. Uh, a LED portable cat lamp. I think uh, my wife was like, hey, I, I want that. I seen that at the, uh, like this Asian market the other week. I was like, screw it, let's get it, man. So all this stuff was hella cheap. Oh, and of course, of course. We had to get another one of these, man. A little game stick. I don't know how many games are on here, but yeah. I, I don't know if this is the same as the other ones that I've looked at. Looks like the same packaging, but yeah, we're gonna check this out. Uh, what else did we get? What is this? Oh, an RG Nano. They have freaking Ambernick stuff on there. I've already reviewed this, but I got a different color and just wanted to see, are they like selling legit Ambernick stuff? The one that I got from a legit like uh, reseller was not packaged like this. It, it, I don't know. So maybe, do they bootleg Ambernick stuff or is this legit? Because those controllers are bootleg. I mean, we know that 100%. These are bootleg controllers. Tendo ain't going to be happy with that, dude. Oh, oh, and we got some Zelda uh, Amiibo cards. <laughs> so yeah, we got a little bit of a theme going on here. Some bootleg stuff that Nintendo is not going to be happy that Timu has on their website. Yes. Oh my God, these feel like crap. I had different Zelda Amiibo cards and they were like, uh, they were, they weren't like this weird, oh my God, there's like a weird texture on them. I don't freaking know, dude. There might be a disease on these things. I'm not sure. But I had other ones that were better looking than these. They tell you on the back, Link Paraglider. Okay. So we got like a bunch of Amiibo cards, Toon Link. Uh, the quality of print on these is not great. But if all you want is some Amiibo cards, we'll, we'll see if they work. We'll see if they work, but yeah, a collection of Zelda Amiibo cards. Oh wait, there's, is there a couple things in here? Yeah, we got a couple things in here, dude. What is this? We got a FC Compact Family Game Entertainment. What is this? I think I seen it. I don't even know what it is. Uh, 30th anniversary edition, dude. Dual joysticks is what I'm talking about. It looks like a piece of toast in that Famicom. All right. I can't wait to check this out. Oh, we got another 
uh, uh, another Switch Pro controller. How many Pro controllers did I need? I just wanted a variety of them because they were so damn cheap on their website. I just wanted to see it. I ordered from different listings, but they're all packaged the same bootleg ass Pro controllers. All right. So we got the FC Compact built in games. Okay. Is it like a um, Famicom, uh, what you call it? Like a, 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 an NES Classic? Oh, and then we got a. No battery save forever. 239 in one classic collection NES games. Includes NES Mini 30 games. For use on your original hardware, clone console. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then, oh, and this Timu, uh, this nice Timu bag. I think I got a Switch pouch. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, that, does it have a weird smell? A lot of times this stuff does. No, it doesn't. Oh, wow, it's made out of felt. Holy crap, I could go to Hobby Lobby and make this for like 50 cents. What the hell? It's a, it does look pretty cool, though. It looks all right. But it's just, it's cheap-ass felt, dude. I don't want to mess anything up. Let's, let's, ugh. Let's do this. Man, this stupid Timu video, man. I'm, I'm actually having more fun with this, and I haven't even messed with anything yet. I'm having more fun than I thought I was going to have. Hell yeah. I got a drone, dude. Is this the one that the chick smashes in the video? Because people won't buy them because they think they're fake? Well, it's real, I think. Brushless motor, what? We're gonna crash this bish. Hell yeah, we're gonna film that um, in the park or something. Oh, what else did I get? Oh yeah, the Nintendo DS, six, what is 468 and one, dude? Hell yeah, Pokemon album, 468 and one. You got all the Pokemons on, ugh, on there. All this stuff was cheap as hell, dude. Like this, everything, we haven't looked at everything yet, but all this was under $300. So a Nintendo 3DS cartridge, I, I'm pretty sure it's just a Nintendo DS cartridge, but uh, it's just DS games on the cover. Holy crap, I can't read all that, but you got 468 games. Ah, they freaking used, oh my God, look at that. They used freaking Sharpie and, and, and marked out the ESRB freaking website. And the, uh, what is that website? Nintendo's website? Yeah, they marked out Nintendo.com with a Sharpie. Man, that ain't fooling nobody, dude. You should have marked out all the Pokemon games with Sharpie if you don't want people to know. Oh my God. I think we got one last thing in here. Oh yeah. Oh, I know what this is. My daughter loves Sonic the Hedgehog and all the characters and whatnot. And I was like, man, let me get her something. Let me get her something. Let me get her a, a freaking Tails that looks derpy as all hell. What is this? What is this? Sega, Timu's selling your shit, man. Made in China. There ain't no official tag on here. What is this? Freaking spin that tail. Wow. There's like strings falling out everywhere. Like in the top, like this isn't as bad of quality as like, um, I mean, it's pretty bad. I'm going to be honest, but it's nowhere near as bad as the stupid stuffed animals that they have in the, uh, like the claw machines at Walmart, dude. Like this is a decent quality, but kind of crappy at the same time, but better than I expected. Tails with like Sonic knuckles. Oh, look at the stitching on there. That is garbage, dude. This is about to fall apart. Why is the stitching really bad right there? That's where they stuffed it, and then they just half-ass sewed it. Like, it's kind of getting ripped right there, too. I haven't I haven't messed with it, man. It's kind of bad, but he kind of looks cool. Kind of looks cool. But that's everything. Let's start getting into this crap. Okay, so let's blast through this stuff real quick. I've spent a few days messing with things, gathering my thoughts, capturing footage. But first up, Amiibo cards. They work just fine. Had no issues with them. Uh, they all register the way they're supposed to. The Ambernic RG Nano, it is legit, but the price that they're charging for, it's about the same everywhere else. So really not saving any money, but it is a cool little device. I've covered it on the channel in the past. Uh, and then the uh, DS cart, the little multi-cart with the Pokemon games. It's one of those typical like Ace 3DS magic, whatever, flash carts, forget exactly what they're called. Uh, I don't know if there's like time bombs, some weird firmware or whatever, uh, but out of the box, it seemed to work just fine. Games would save, played. Yeah, it, it is what it is. The the fake Famicom, that thing kind of surprised me a little bit. I thought it was just going to be a little emulator box. 
but it's actually a clone console that takes Famicom cartridges. Unfortunately, I don't have any Famicom cartridges at this time, so I can only play the built-in games. You got such classics on there as like uh, Super Mario 14, Contra 22, and, and then like some original, you know, games like Super Mario 1 that plays like three times the speed and sounds awful. Uh, and it's only through composite. Neat little thing, but kind of wonky and stupid. Uh, quality's not great. The controls suck, like big fat donkey balls. They're bad, man. And then a little game stick emulator thing uh, that I've looked at several of these in the past. This is the same thing. We're not going to spend much time on it. Junky controllers, ROM dump uh, of a build. It, it is what it is. The one thing that did surprise me, though, is the uh, NES multi-cart. A couple hundred games on there presented very nicely. Probably the best presentation on a multi-cart out of China that I have ever seen. Not a bunch of bootleg games, just all legit stuff. Starts off with the NES Classic 30 games, and then you could sort through, go through stuff. Everything plays just fine. You could save multiple games, and I tested that. I saved a game in Final Fantasy, saved the game in Legend of Zelda, and both of the save files are there days later. So that was really cool. The Pro Controller, um, that thing sucks. Like the three Pro Controllers, they're serviceable. They work, but they just like feel so bad, man. Like it feels like, there's some nastiness on the plastic, especially the grips. Um, and they're kind of scratchy. Like they have extra plastic that poured out of the mold and they didn't bother taking that off and just kind of, it, it's poor quality. No, uh, uh, amiibo support. They work okay, but the buttons and D pad feel way worse than an original. I would pass on these myself, but Hey, you know, if you're broke and you need some cheap ass controllers, I guess you could do worse, you know? And then uh, the finale, the drone, this this piece of shit. Oh my God, we could barely get this thing to work. Charged up the batteries, synced it up. It would rarely sync up to the remote. Like it was such an annoyance. Going out to the park in the freaking uh, blazing sun, sweating my balls off because this thing won't sync up and I'm standing there forever. And then when you finally get it to sync up, it just like goes up, veers off to the left without even touching the controls, crashes, destroys itself, breaks all the propellers because it's such low quality. I think they wanted like 50 bucks for this garbage. Like some you can find a pick and save for $20. It, it's bad, man. I couldn't use the app to like use the camera that's built into it. Uh, so yeah, no footage of that. But in the end, the drone got what it deserved and it's being thrown in the trash. All of this crap is landfill waste and it's gonna be the downfall of our planet, honestly. I mean, Timu's no better or worse than other places that sell the same kind of junk, you know, forced slave labor aside. But, you know, it's just low quality garbage for the most part. I personally will not shop on Timu with my own money. I won't even download their app. I don't trust it, man. But I thought it would be interesting to take a look and see what kind of stuff we can get, you know, make fun of, try it out, maybe be surprised. Hey, that, that multi-cart for the NES kind of cool. But yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Thanks, Timu, for letting me do this video. <laughs> Bye.